Hello friends, in this video, we are going to talk about software engineering and how many skills you have to do. And that's why, if you have any help from the 10th group, you have to help from the 10th group. So, we will see this video in this video. We will use a lot of software in our laptop. For example, we have a software in Windows 7. That's why, we have a lot of mobile applications in our mobile. We have a lot of apps and we have a lot of real-time applications. That's why, we have a lot of websites. So, we have to develop and manage this and we have to do the coding in the software engineering. And in the future, we have to use the apps for the apps. There are some chances of the websites. Now, we can see the websites that we can see. We can see all the information in the app. We can see the apps that we can see. And if you have any doubts in the IT field, you can see the doubts in the IT field. But if you can see the doubts in the IT field, you can see the project in the IT field. That's why they can see the skill. But if you have a programming, if you can do an app, if you have a talent, you can't get into the value. And your salary is within one year, 50,000 to 1 lakh are increased chances. So in a short time, if you can do that, you can do that in the software engineering. And if you have a software engineering, you can do that in the 10th month. You can do that in the 10th month. Max Computer Science is better for this group. In the computer science subject, you can learn basic computer science and basic languages. So, you can learn basic programming languages. If you have done the 11th and 12th, you can do the next computer science related courses. You can do BSE Computer Science or BCI. You can do the engineering or computer science engineering or IT. If you have done a degree, you can go to a professional level. And if you have done programming skills, if you don't have a degree, you don't have to wait for it. Now, we have a lot of news about the 8th, 7th, and the students who are studying the app. How do you know the app plan? If you don't know the only thing about this is the programming skill, you don't have to learn that. If you don't have interest in it, you don't have to learn that. You don't have to have a job opportunity. So, if you want to do a degree, you can do a computer science related degree. So, if you are going to enter a college, what is the next step? If you are learning the programming languages, you will learn the basic language. If you are going to C, C++, Ruby, Java, Python, .NET, so, if you are learning the basic languages, you can do the basic languages. If you are using the main languages, we can use a real-time application. For example, if you go to a supermarket, if you look at the billing system, you can scan a QR code and you can scan a rate. So, if you are using the basic languages, you can use the basic languages. If you are using the basic languages, you can use the real-time application, you can use the basic languages, you can use the basic languages. Next, you can learn software engineering as well as programming. You can learn about the data structure, you can learn about the algorithm. If you look at the algorithm, you can learn about a specific problem. You can learn step by step by step. You can learn about the algorithm. If you look at the data structure, you can learn about the data structure. That is the data structure. Data structure, algorithm and programming language. These three are very important. So, in the three issues, you can enhance your skills. That is why you can get practical experience. For example, if you want to learn theory, you can get a new problem. How do you do coding? How do you do data structure? How do you do algorithm? You can get a practical experience. So, after this, the next very important thing is, you can get an internship. If you want to get an internship, you can get an internship. You can get an internship for industrial exposure. And you can get an internship for practical training. This internship is the best option. In this company, if you go to a 3-month or 6-month internship, if you work on a particular project, you will have hands-on experience. Even if you perform in that internship, you will have a job in that company. So, if you have a job in that company, you will have a skill to develop and develop, you will have a job opportunity. And if you select the campus in college, you get a minimum of $20,000. And if you try to try to try to get a fresh air, you get a $15,000 or $10,000. But if you go to the company, you get a talent in one year. You can earn $50,000 within one year. You can earn a chance to earn a monthly salary in two years. You get a chance to earn 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 a chance. So that's why the programming benefits. If you know the programming, you can solve the problem with the solution. Even if you are an entrepreneur, you also have a chance to run a software company. So there is a job opportunity for you. 
ஸோ சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஜினியரிங்கில் ஜாப் ப்ரொஃபைல்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சாஃப்ட்வேர் டெவலப்பர் ஆகலாம் அதே மாதிரி சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஜினியர் அண்ட் சாஃப்ட்வேர் மேனேஜர் அண்ட் அதே மாதிரி க்ளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங்கை பற்றி நீங்கள் படிப்பீங்க அண்ட் நீங்கள் வெப் டெவலப்பராகவும் ஆகலாம் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி ஜாப் ப்ரொஃபைல்லாம் இதில் இருக்குது அண்ட் உங்களோட எய்ம் சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஜினியரிங்காக இருந்துச்சுன்னா நீங்கள் டென்த்து முடிச்சதுக்கப்புறம் லெவன்த்தில் மேக்ஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் குரூப்பே எடுங்க பயோ மேக்ஸ் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸை பற்றி உங்களால் படிக்க முடியாது அண்ட் நீங்கள் ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் செகண்ட் இயர் போகும்போது அந்த பேசிக் சி லாங்குவேஜ் வரும் அதில் உங்களுக்கு கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டமாக இருக்கும் ஸோ அதனால் மேக்ஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் குரூப் எடுக்கிறது தான் பெட்டர் ஆப்ஷன் அண்ட் இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் உங்களுக்கு ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்குன்னு தோணுச்சுன்னா மறக்காமல் டுவெல்த்து முடிச்ச ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டென்த்து முடிச்ச ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸுக்கெலாம் ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க ஸோ அவங்க சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஆகணும்னு விருப்பப்பட்டுட்டு இருந்தாங்கன்னா இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அவங்களுக்கு ரொம்பவே ஹெல்ப்ஃப